Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily find the right cutting parameters for your Ninja Master Laser Engraver. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you've been laser cutting or try to laser cut something, uh, you should know by now how tedious and frustrating it is to find the right spot and the right parameters to have a clean cut with the minimum number of passes. Um, now, um, it's not much about the parameters that you can set through the desktop application, but more about the focusing of the laser. And the question is always, is it going to change something if I'm rising or lowering down the module. And this, this video is exactly focused on this. So, uh, the idea is to, um, to keep the testing that you should be doing anyway for the different type of material and thicknesses from a simple power and burning time and to eliminate the test about focusing. So, normally, when uh, making your test, um, you will basically launch uh, some test file, okay, to uh, cut or engrave. And then um, you will change your parameters, that means the power or the burning uh, uh, time. And then you will need to uh, start and adjust the focus. And the way you do this normally would be to get your... Uh, measuring instrument to put it right against uh, the laser module and then with the Helen key from the side you will uh, loosen up the clamp and then rise or lower down the module so this is obviously uh, feasible but when you have to tie to do it 10 20 times it start being a little bit tedious so the idea behind the method that I'm about to show you is to have uh, the workpiece or the test material at an angle relative to the laser. By doing so, uh, from the lowest point to the highest point over here, we will basically and effectively have tested all of the focusing uh, uh, ranges possible with the, with the device. So. Uh, what you want to do to start is to have your laser module at a fixed height uh, possibly trying to be the uh, tallest possible and I've found with mine to be at 60 millimeter with reference to the bottom of the inspection glass to be uh, good enough but uh, it's up to you obviously uh, what exactly you want to do and then you will have a test file um, I suggest to be a line uh, that goes all the way across the axis so that you can see the engraving, the line thickness and also the depth as it progresses from the, from the lowest point to the highest point. Um, so there is no particular requirements for the angle of the, uh, of the test piece. Uh, however, I found that uh, between 10 and 20 degrees uh, works just fine. Uh, the important is not to go above the threshold because um, if we are trying to figure out uh, the parameters for the cutting, uh, then we'll need to take into account that the true thickness, that means the vertical line that passes through the material is no longer the thickness but it's a little bit more than that so that means that then we will uh, basically find cutting parameters for a slightly thicker material and we don't want to do that but by having it at 10 20 degrees it's uh, for these small thicknesses is uh, good enough uh, then the other requirements is uh, to have the workpiece as much as possible aligned to the axis so that we can have a clean cut and what I've done myself here is, first of all, I've fixed the laser engraver to a sheet of uh, plywood so that it's uh, stable. Then I have uh, engraved a set of dashed lines. You can see them 
over here also all around so that I have actually the boundary uh, where I can work and then I've used this uh, cutting mat which comes with a grid so it's really cool because I can basically align uh, not only the testing material but also uh, what I want to engrave and after that um, I'm just you know I'm just uh, trying to be as much as orthogonal possible uh, the aim for me is to be able to replicate my test in the future so uh, by having always the same piece of uh, wood here it's a small piece of uh, uh, wood stick wooden stick I can basically and you know I also know uh, the distance from the uh, zero reference point there I can basically replicate this over and over with other materials. Now, very quickly, we can draw a simple straight line. Laser engraver, okay, laser, and we are ready. Then we can go straight to our uh, Ninja Master desktop application. Uh, we can load the G code. This is a .nc file, so we can set the size here. I found that the 200 millimeter for this model it's uh, uh, good enough and then now what you want to do you give OK and now what you want to do is to um, check where the engraver is going to where the machine is going to engrave or cut and then we need to align it as close as possible to uh, where we want the test to happen so we can increment here the num the millimeter so the distance per each step and we can as you can see over here we are taking this down so let's get as close as possible to the edge obviously inside all right seems like we are inside let's now move a little bit the axis towards the main axis let's say millimeter okay I think we are good enough uh, once we are ready let's uh, stop it and now we can try the first test so our aim here is to find the cutting parameters so uh, it's already settled laser 100% and burning time 10 uh, milliseconds so I will give it a play and let's see how it goes I just turned on the blower so we can push the smoke away so you can see that uh, towards the center uh, the width of the line it's uh, tinier while towards the ends the line is thicker and that's because obviously towards the hands we are too close or too far and the beam is out of focus now uh, very quickly without moving anything we can come again and align the engraving cutting area let's wait for it and as you can see we are still on top of the previous line so we can now increment of uh, let's say five millimeter and we can go on top five millimeter okay and will be exactly the same spot parallel so let's give it a stop now what i want to try is with two passes and let's give it a play now our aim here is to look observe at the bottom of the uh, test piece and to see when the uh, when we see the laser shining through that's what we are kind of expecting here all right nothing yet happens so we repeat the test once again so let's center up our project let's once again increment five millimeter and we can shift this up we can see it's 
perfectly parallel, let's give it a stop and now we'll try with three passes and then let's play this again. And as you can see, we just saw the laser coming through the other side. So I believe that we can now wait for it to finish and we can stop our testing as we found the right spot. Now, once our test is complete, we can take the material, we can flip it and to see what's the result. And as you can see, here we have a clear result. Um, I think that maybe one more pass would have do the job a little bit better, but it can also be acceptable. So let's uh, keep in mind what was the position over here. Now we can uh, compare it with a meter, okay? So we can see exactly, approximately where we are. So I think that uh, like between 10 and 11 centimeter so I will say 10 and a half it looks like the cleanest over here so now what we can do I will put the material back again try to align it okay use this now you could simply use another ruler and to measure the height over here we can move the, the meter we can move the other ruler we can measure the height over here and then we can detract this height from our 60 millimeter so for instance actually I have to use the um, millimeters over here because that's the units that I used previously and I can see here that we are at about I can see here that we are at about 18 millimeters okay so I could detract this from the laser and I have the right spot alternatively you can switch off the device the laser engraver So now you are able to move the axis freely. You can put, you can take the module just above your point of interest, and you can do a direct measurement over here. Once again, let's try to be at. The all right, and that's pretty much all. Um, as you can see, it's simple and cool, and you can easily implement. Uh, uh, without having to you know buy anything i hope you find this video helpful if you liked it click the thumb up button below if you have any comment leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one ciao for now